And meteorologist Nick Housen. Yeah, we're going to have a preview of those viewer photos of the day coming up here right after this uh -oh. forecast, but I want to give you kind of a heads up. This morning's sunrise is going to be gorgeous, so send in those viewer okay. photos. Just bundle up if you are heading out this morning. It is cold out there. Live view from the Benton Square looking back into the eastern sky, and gosh, what a nice sunrise. What a nice wow, shot. Wow, that is that beautiful. That is right there. Uh, as we go throughout the day today, lots of sunshine near average temperatures expected, and of course, average highs this time of year running the low to mid 40s. Tomorrow, though, even warmer. In fact, uh, Thursday is the warmest day of the week. Enjoy it. Enjoy the sunshine by Friday. Our next cold front set to arrive and brings us right back to winter. We have been stuck in this pattern. The coldest days of the week sometimes falling here on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It seems like at least for the last three weeks or so, but temperatures right now back into the 20s across much of southern Illinois down to 22 in Mount Vernon. We've got 25 currently in Marion, still 32 in Paducah and much of southern Illinois back into the 20s. McLeansboro at 22, Ridgeway, you're at 25, Golconda at 31. One Carbondale right now at 25 Chester currently at 27 to the south into Kentucky temperatures running about 30 degrees from Benton back towards Mayfield Clinton. You're down to 28 degrees there and uh, to the west into southeast Missouri. Lots of 20s into the Ozarks and to the boot hill of Missouri. A few lower 30s Malden currently at 32. Everyone up to about the freezing mark at 9 a.m. will jump into the lower 40s by lunchtime in this afternoon. We'll top off into the mid 40s again a couple degrees warmer than average for this time of year. Clouds start to move in for this evening evening and by midnight there's actually a chance we could see a couple showers primarily in some of our far southern counties not a big rainmaker for us cold front that moved through here a couple days ago now working its way closer to the east coast high pressure really taking center stage just to our south and west means this morning we've got a northwest wind around as this thing starts to slide on past us we're going to get back into a southwest wind later on this afternoon and that is going to kick start that next warming trend tracking some rain back into central texas but this is a southern track storm system meaning most of the wet weather will stay to our south. There's this afternoon temperatures middle 40s into southern Illinois. Some 50s possible into the Missouri Boot Hill later on today. Later on tonight, here comes the rain chances. Now this is about midnight here. Notice southern Illinois. You're still dry tonight, but uh, to the south into the Missouri Boot Hill, western Kentucky, a chance for a couple isolated showers, now, maybe a tenth of an inch. Most areas even going to see less than that. And then tomorrow afternoon, the warmest day of the week, we should see some sunshine return by the afternoon hours and temperatures jumping back into the lower 50s. Here's that next cold front sliding through and the next blast of some cooler air by Friday morning. We go back in the upper 20s and then factor in the breeze what it's going to feel like out there. Wind chills we will go back in the low to mid 20s. So right back into that winter like pattern just in time for the weekend. Saturday a cold day, but still dry Sunday and Monday. Our next big storm system there, and it looks like this is going to be all rain for us. And some of this rain could be on the heaviest or uh, heavy side, uh, we're expecting the heaviest rain into the deep south. But we'll be continuing to track this as we get a little closer. There's a chance we could end up with some fairly heavy rainfall, especially into some of our far southern counties there. Again, that's the early part of next week. Today, 45, 7, uh, 53 on Thursday, dropping back to about 40 for a high temperature on Friday, upper 30s on Saturday. And here comes the rain Sunday into Monday, about a 60% chance on Sunday. Sunday, Monday right now looking like a washout, but we are talking about all rain. Then we go into next week and temperatures once again running pretty close to average. Another chance for some showers by Thursday.